My name is Jack Dearborn, and this is the uh, October 8th, 2019 uh, Capital Improvement uh, Program. And why don't we go around the room for anybody's benefit? Jan Snyder, Selectman. Steve Roberts. No more chance. Board. Thank you. Uh, today, you want to do the let the chief go? Let, let him go first? Why don't we do that? Well, we kind of need to. Huh? We kind of need to. Why is that? Before we do that. Oh, she could write. Uh, we would just sit here and watch her. <laughs> Chief, if you'd like to do your thing. <laughs> sure. So what's my thing? Am I just updating what I proposed? Yeah, kind of like uh, a little bit different strategy. Okay. That we'll, we talked about it yesterday. Sure, sure. Um, so... What I did is uh, prior I proposed, proposed two vehicles and um, we met yesterday to kind of discuss what the need, I, as I said before, was a pickup truck. Um, the need was based on what my officers are telling me. We don't have anything currently that could uh, carry a large item of evidence, uh, even a bicycle. Um, pretty much the only space we have is the back of a patrol car. It would have to fit in there. Otherwise, we would have to get with DPW to um, carry whatever we need. Also, as far as um, snowblower maintenance, we need something that would carry that. Um, just general tasks. Uh, we use barricades since we no longer have our own range. We have to take those down to Golfstown where we uh, do pistol target shooting. Um, so just general transport. Um, when we talked, the truck was would fill that need. Uh, it was a cheaper cost, so that's why we looked at that. You know, trying to maintain some fiscal responsibility. Um, so that was the idea behind it. Plus, the big difference um, when I was hired is I was hired as a patrol chief rather than an administrative chief, meaning I need the same same cap capabilities as the officers on the street because I could respond to messages. The uh, current car doesn't allow for that. There's no rifle rack, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's an administrator vehicle. That's the big difference. I wouldn't feel safe going to messages. Um, and just to educate you, um, what's the most frequent weapon used for homicides in the nation? It's a knife. It's a knife. It's not a gun. Who's got a knife in their house? So every call we go on, there's a potential homicide weapon in that. So that's the kind of mindset. Um, officers, are, we experience what's called hypervigilance. It's like a roller coaster ride um, because you're constantly on the alert out there. And what we do to try to alleviate that is make sure we're prepared for anything that might come at us because there is no such thing as a routine stop. You have to be prepared at all times. As we just saw by the message that, uh, you know, Officer, uh, Officer Lewis uh, went on and Sergeant uh, McGuire. So that's, that's what we prepare for. That's kind of the difference in the mentality of the shift between the vehicles. Rather than an administrator vehicle, patrol vehicle, we'll all have the same capability as the guys. Now, I don't have to upfit it the same like I don't need a computer. That's why the cost is a little different. But instead of the truck, when we talked yesterday, what we proposed is in, um, two Tahoes. But one just wouldn't be upfitted to the same level. So that's the difference in cost. A fully outfitted Tahoe for patrol is 52410 Now, the need for that is our current vehicle fleet. Um, as I stated, we're gonna have to rotate our SUV as the animal control vehicle, because that vehicle's been dead for over a year now. So we're gonna be re replacing <coughs> that. <coughs> Sorry. When you say dead, what does that mean? It's not operable? It's no longer, in, in the words of the mechan mechanic from a year ago, I have the email, it's no longer a viable option as a vehicle that we can use, quote. The black one, the old black. Correct. The old ACO that's sitting out there that's getting ready to go to auction. I got that. Okay, thank you. Yep. Um, so they've been, from what I understand, stripping parts off, off of that for a year now to keep the lieutenant's vehicle running because the lieutenant's vehicle currently has 136,000 miles on it, and that's on its last legs. Uh, if we didn't do two vehicles this year, the earliest we could get another vehicle would not be. So this this. Uh, financial process would give us a vehicle this August, upcoming August, which is almost just short of a year away. So if we didn't do, do two vehicles this year, we'd be looking at almost two years before we got a new vehicle. That vehicle will not make it two years. Which vehicle will make? The XO's vehicle, the lieutenant's vehicle. The blue car that I currently drive, that will. 
um, I believe, even though it's been at the shop about a quarter of the time since I've been here. It's currently in the shop. It's been there about two weeks uh, for – it was leaking fuel, so uh, I was talking to Tom and some gasket went on it, so he's replacing the gasket on it. Um, but even that, that vehicle has 165,000 miles. So you're talking two years. We're hoping to get about 190,000 off of that. And that's just the regular rotation if we don't go down another vehicle. So challenges we face. Um, so we try to adjust accordingly. Thank you for that. Yes, sir. Um, but like I said, uh, if we did two, two vehicles, uh, the, the lower Tahoe, that would be a long-term vehicle. I would hope to get 10 to 15 years out of that vehicle. Um, because it would, it, like I said, it wouldn't be outfitted the same. And then the, the regular Tahoes would be the regular vehicle. I can also tell you something else about the, ta the Charger since um, I've been driving that as a, as a replacement car since mine's, mine's been in there. So we've talked about the vest that I'm fitting the officers uh, with, ergonomics. So Dodge actually molds their seat and their, I, you know, I talk about behind the times. So you remember how officers on their duty belt carry stuff back mm -hmm. here? That's the old way. Everything's up here in the front now to get weight off the hips. So Do uh, Dodge has actually molded their seats so there's a gap back here. I can feel that gap. And as a matter of fact, my back started bothering me yesterday because the seat feels weird um, because it's not supportive down here because we no longer have gear there. So it's like, you know... Um, it is what it is, but more challenges. You know, I haven't had any of the guys complain. <clears throat> Plus, you know, of course, we had the vest on, so that probably provides enough support. I'm still waiting for my carrier to come in, so I didn't have that. Um, that's why I'm not wearing my vest currently. It was supposed to be here the 29th, but that's where we're at. Did I cover everything that we went over or anything else I need to hit? I think <clears throat> the, the reason for the truck kind of got – there's a solution for that. And we did talk about considering a an enclosed aluminum trailer, mm -hmm. uh, which you could put all your stuff in there. Correct. And you don't have to put, offload it, put it back in again. I uh, I did some pricing, and I f this is a small aluminum trailer, single axle, three thousand pounds, and it's twenty five hundred bucks for a five by eight, and a five by ten is like twenty seven hundred. Mm -hmm. um, so that is. A way you can, and that would be an operating. Expense. Yes, sir. And that's one way you could uh, relieve the truck requirement. Mm -hmm. um, anybody have any discussion points you want to talk about? And on that, I yeah, I right. do. Okay. Um, Good time. A little bit of the, I did a little bit of research on my own about the cars and the Tahoes and things. So um, I. I did not talk to the fleet, any of the fleet managers for state police, but I, I ran into a veteran state police officer <coughs> who's on patrol, and he's, I wouldn't consider him an old guy like me, but he wasn't a whippersnapper either, awesome. a young guy. He was kind of in the middle and uh, had good experience. Um, he said that he had driven the Crown Victoria for years, and he now is in the Dodge Charger, and this is what he said right off. He goes, because I, I told him what I was you know, that we were considering changing over to the Tahoes. And and he said, well, I'll tell you, he said, I would take my Crown Victoria back in a second. Mm -hmm. He said, this car, it's a muscle car. It's great if you have to go on an emergency. It's a great car. It's great handling and all that on the highway. But he said, and here's the key, he said, it's murder on my back. Mm -hmm. And he said, it's difficult getting in and out of it, and there's no storage space. And he said, there's a, <coughs> a lot of blind spots on the car, too. And so he, he mentioned a call that he went on in a small town near here that they were off on, uh, I don't know if it was a private road or not a good road, but he got stuck with his car, and the local officer got there and had an SUV vehicle, and he jumped in with him, and they made it all the way to the house. So I, I, I guess I could see that happening in where? In a couple of places, maybe? A <laughs> So I, I found that that was his, you know, without me really prompting a lot, that was his observation and his evaluation. So I, in my opinion, I, I think it's really important that we make this change. Um, the, the problem that, that I, I see for us is, um, 
you know, where it was sold to the taxpayers of, of the charges and where we were in that mentality of it's going to cost more money to upfit them. Once we get them done, we won't have to spend that money again. And so here, here we go again. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess so. Um, to s- how we make that happen, I think, is is probably the important thing. So and oh, sorry, having a fair amount of experience in this town, it, serving on boards and committees, and and getting things passed. Um, th- this you you kind of have to prioritize and and I know that's part of what you guys were getting into about which vehicles and stuff like that so I believe this is really important to you and it's important to me but uh we're asking the taxpayers to say yes mm-hmm. and and the kind of the the I don't know if it's the right word but wall that could get built in that getting to yes could be well we just did this and now we're being asked to switch gears and spend more money mm-hmm. and, uh, and the taxpayers are are smart and they I believe that they will go along with things that are reasonable and prudent mm-hmm. as long as as they have good you know you have good justification and a good plan I think that's probably the bigger side of it is having a plan showing the benefit and um, and being careful and prioritizing. If you overreach, mm-hmm. then they'll say no. Um, and so, w- as you mentioned with a pickup truck, I think if you can maybe go for one Tahoe this year, um, and I'm just, I know we don't have that, all that. It's not all our, it's up to a selectman of how that actually happens. But like Jack was trying to work with you on, keeping the cost down and looking for alternatives to save money. I think that that's probably the priority that you should look at. Mm-hmm. You're a great straight man. <clears throat> but since we talked yesterday, Chief, <clears throat> and I actually had a conversation with Naomi late afternoon, and I'm not sure who brought it up, but I think my question was, <clears throat> is there any way, <clears throat> <clears throat> is there any way that we could utilize your underrun of your operating budget. Well, which one? The question Sorry. is, can we utilize the underrun of your operating budget? And she says, uh, not for a cruiser, because no means no. And then we get on the subject of, could you keep the Explorer and we buy a used SUV mm-hmm. for the ACO? And um, so I went on scratching around on Tilly Blue Book last night. Mm -hmm. And just an example, you could probably get a 2015 Explore, I mean, 2015 uh, Highlander with 30, 40,000 miles on it uh, for $20,000, which will serve, provide good service for many years and not have to spend effectively the trickle down of buying the second vehicle. So, and that that's exactly where I started from. So when I started, we <coughs> started looking for used vehicles and we were more looking at the 10 to $15,000 range. I just picked a number. Sure, and, but on the state contract, I can get her a brand new truck for low 20s. And it comes with, you know, it's brand new, so it comes with a warranty. So value wise, it made sense. And then of course I'm thinking, why do I want to get her a brand new truck? Why don't I want a brand new truck for the officers when we have more need and she can get the hand-me-down? So that was the whole thought process going that direction. Yeah, I guess <clears throat> I'll echo um, Steve's point is that getting one is tough. Mm-hmm. Getting two is very hard. You have other political issues to worry about because anytime you spend the PC of your operating budget from this year, <clears throat> It's an opportunity lost for lowering taxes mm-hmm. for next year. Well, there's also a realistic cost of doing business. That's that's what I'm doing. So um, we appreciate your patience through this. Sure, process. no, my pleasure. <clears throat> it's sort of like making sausage. Mm-hmm. It's ugly until we get to the end. <laughs> Tastes good in the end, so. so. Exactly. <laughs> Season problem. Uh, so 
and you know just to remind everyone where we're at is there was supposed to be a vehicle last year so yeah, technically so i should only be, be asking for one this year because be we're vehicles. behind right. and when we look to the future to see what kind of challenges you know the, the fire department their equipment is expensive that's coming up on the horizon so if we keep pushing the two vehicles one year off we're going to get further and further behind my job is to try to make a consistent yeah. budget where it's not impacting the tax rate everybody knows what the police department comes because it's level you don't have these fluxes going up and down that's where i'm going so i just need to get us there initially so we can maintain so uh where do we go <laughs> i mean i think that i think we've discussed the truck and that kind of goes away as far as the police force goes uh augmenting the police force with a very small trailer for all your stuff mm -hmm. um, is probably a smart idea it keeps out of the weather you ain't got to move it between your little shed and you can leave it in the trail sure so the question is any thoughts i mean i hate to spring this on you but no, this no. this just happened <clears throat> in a oh it's been ongoing so yeah <laughs> And I, I did mention one. So I called the uh, Chevy representative for the entire New England area yesterday. He's a retired trooper out of Pennsylvania. The state police, to go back to you, are currently looking at SUVs. There's a civilian task force who are evaluating them to see if they want to go to them. Just, you know, I don't worry about the state police. We need to do what's good for us here. And then um, back to the trailer, the Tahoe edition that we're asking for will tow up to 4,000 pounds so we're good there also that was the reason behind the truck i didn't think the tahoe did that but they do do that um so just throwing that out there also i think the explorer would tow a trailer that small i believe so yeah, um well like i said we might have to rotate that in or yeah. i think if if possible you should find a way to separate i know it's another article <coughs> But I, I think you got a good chance of getting one cruiser through, mm -hmm. and you risk some people saying, well, I'll vote for this, but I won't vote for that. Mm -hmm. But I hate to see you lose the whole ball of wax because well, we overreached. We did. We separated them. There are so, two articles, one for each vehicle. Okay. I did ask him okay. about that. Yeah. But there's another complicating issue, and I'm not suggesting it's uh, onerous, but there is a contract negotiation for the police. and. So it's just <clears throat> just another thing overshadowing this, but um. uh, and, th and that but that adds into it too, in my opinion, that it, I don't think they in evaluating votes, which I tend to do, why people I try to find out why people voted the way they did. I talk to a lot of people and I, I look at the votes and and the, and I think that the, the year that we got voted no and we ended up <coughs> spending so much money on cruises is is part of the reason is is the the upheaval that was going on in the police department mm -hmm. and there's an old saying that people are not going to put money into what they think might be a sinking ship and so all of this stuff you know it, it has an effect on that <coughs> so well so we are a, a lawsuit free zone for four months since i've been here just that's fantastic put that out. the problem is it's the gift that keeps on giving so, that's my nothing, intention nothing to do that's with you intention. well like i said that's that's why i evaluate what we do the equipment you use the yeah. personnel we have where their personnel needs training needs what have you i mean that's that's my job um so when i'm looking at equipment i mean that's why i'm here uh the chargers aren't the right vehicle for law enforcement going forward we need an suv and that's why i asked my guys to evaluate okay my parameter is just an SUV. <clears throat> three, three brands out there, tell me which one you prefer as the stakeholder, the end user. Um, the Fords were more expensive. The Dodges, they didn't like it all, so they came up with the Tahoe. So that's how we kind of came through the process of the Tahoe. Now, my job is to tell you and the voters, you know, what is that going to do with us? We're not going to get rid of the Dodges until they've fulfilled their life cycle. We'll keep rotating equipment. So we make sure that the citizens still get their value out of what was placed into the, the chargers. Um, but moving forward, we need to move forward in the, in the direction that will keep us a lawsuit free zone uh, to as much as we, and I'll, I'll tell you this too, um, something in my experience that I, you know, I, I, I read a lot, especially of course where it comes to law enforcement. So there's a California officer 
who will dress up as a homeless person, go into affluent neighborhoods, pour alcohol himself without drinking, and try to get arrested because then he'll sue the department. There are guys out there like that. But that's what you have to think of as an executive in law enforcement. You know, you have to train your personnel to do the right things, respect people's rights, and provide them the equipment, the training necessary to do the right job to make sure you're addressing liability. And that's what it is. This, this is. It's addressing a liability issue. So. so let me see where we are. Um, unfortunately, I feel we're going to ask you to chase another rabbit here, but uh, let's see where we are. Sure. I, I, it it kind of makes sense for the one uh, SCB taco. And that's called a PSS. Is that my So I didn't go with the, uh, that, and that's why I was talking to the representative. One is a uh, pursuit rated vehicle, the other one's a support vehicle, which has a higher trailer uh, capacity rating. It's a little bit higher too. After talking to him, um, it's two PPVs now. So it's the same model. And what that will do is say we have two vehicles getting the crash. Mine's the same rate of vehicle, so they'll be able to take that and wow, use it in patrol. It just won't have the back seat partition, so we just have to change some equipment out. The S and the P are different because the braking, the cooling, all the things that you need to be on the station for a while aren't in the S vehicle. Correct. And I'm not asking for the S vehicle anymore. So I'm saying for one fully rated taco, mm -hmm. PSS, is that the right term? Uh, so PPV and PPV. SSV. PPV. So now the question is, too many acronyms, right? Too many TLAs, mm -hmm. three-letter acronyms. Right. And um, that was a joke. Um, <laughs> so um, you have to know how to take the joke, right? So the question is, how to solve the vehicle for the ACO? Mm -hmm. um, this requires more people. Or we could say, we could solve it differently, but we could say um, a capital request for X dollars to buy some kind of a vehicle to support the uh, ACO. And that may be able to be solved by uh, purchasing outright for the on the run of your labor in your department wages mm -hmm. this year. So unfortunately, that may include a conversation with a select which isn't here. We have a member, but it isn't here today. <laughs> and they'd have to do their flinch factor on that to see if it makes sense. Because there's a balance between spending money that's not, that's been raised and appropriated, but we're going to turn it back. Are we going to, so from a CIP perspective, to solve the problem in the near term is one PPV taro full up and accommodation for an ACO in the form of a CIP for some dollars. And then um, if that changes because of the process with the select board over the time, then that could be solved by out of the current budget. That makes sense? I mean, we got to kind of move forwards here. So that route would also still leave you vehicle short. Well, yes. So I think Steve and I fully understand, maybe even Bruce. Because the, the Explorer is already coming up on 130,000 miles. If it stayed on patrol, you might get another year out of it. Now you're down a patrol vehicle. You're down a lieutenant's vehicle. So once we had a lieutenant, he'd have to take a patrol vehicle to go anywhere. Plus my vehicle is coming up on 160,000 miles. That means now you're down to three active patrol cars. It's not a good way to do business. I understand that, but you only got five active duty officers. So. Today. Today. We're gonna get uh, actually, six, because okay. we just it's hired one last it's night. We're improving. <laughs> it's going up. Oh. That's almost a 20% increase. <laughs> I'm just saying from a practical standpoint, asking for two this year, full up, is going to be a hard pill to swallow. Okay. That's, that's why we leave that, it up to the voters. That's just my feeling, and mm -hmm. I think Steve echoed that. Mm -hmm. And trying to figure out how to solve your ACO problem. I don't know. I don't know how to. That's the essence that of. Between him and, that could be between the selectmen. Because at the end of the day, the selectmen could throw an article on for an X amount for an ACO vehicle. I'm not arguing that. I guess that's a good idea. But we don't have that information to make that decision today. 
to move forwards. We can move forwards on the on the vehicle. Right. If you opt to move forward with one vehicle, then we've got some homework to do, which Chris and I talked at the left of seven this morning. So. All right. <laughs> yeah, we talked at six o'clock last well, we night. We didn't get a chance to talk last night, so I called him. Yeah. Well, Chief, I think we exercised you sufficiently. <laughs> All good. Thank you for your patience. Yes, sir. And your service to our town yes. and country. Not a problem. Um, is there anything else for the Chief? Well, we beat this pretty much, <laughs> pretty much there pretty well. well. There's a lot there. Well, but I, I want to make sure we get this all out there. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Thank You're you. welcome to stay around and watch the rest of the show. Sure. But you might have oh. other things to do. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take up the Chief's request here just so we really understand this. Is this the latest here? Yes. There we go. It's two, I made it two-sided. Ah, that's why it's... So one page is going to be... Well, and it was quicker this morning than we go. <laughs> I'm trying to find the second one. Did I miss something? What's that? Where's last page? Oh, thank you. So we want to do the second one first. Is that correct? Is this the follow up? The fifty-two. Fifty-two is the main one. Thank you. Yes, sir. So at this point, <clears throat> let's look at the last two pages. This is where we talked about. This is called the PPV. Now, Chief, just so I get it right, this bears the cost of buying radios? No. Okay, so this is? Everything except compute the computer, the little laptop that's in there, yep. and the radio. Okay, so this is the vehicle plus anything to make it a police vehicle, less radio and laptop. Correct. Yes, sir. All the markings, all the lights, siren, right. <clears throat> updating. Okay. So you do have some reuse. Yes, sir. Do you happen to know? What the age of those radios? And so the only one I know is mine, and they thought it was about 20 years old. Yeah. Which is definitely past its life cycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what the exact life cycle. See, I'll, I'll be figuring all that out. What the I think all the books, and and you, you, you got a tough book for your computer, yeah. I think. Is that different? Or is that not the tough books? Where the tough books are almost at the end. I of think the we're out of tough books. Yeah. We're into uh, it's a tablet yeah. with a. Got um, it. I, but I don't know. It's tough. Tough books a manufacturer. If you're talking about an actual like laptop. We had bought four, I think, on anticipation of use, and it took a few years to get them yes, into the car. So I don't know if they're even in use anymore. I believe uh, so. Two are still in use. One's on the fritz, hadn't quite died yet, but on its way out. Yeah. One's already died, and yeah. I just replaced with yeah. the tablet yeah. and the. Uh, okay. So this is. Less those two issues. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay. All right. I think we're ready to do our whiteboard. I got it. Thank you. Started. What do you want to do first? Uh, well, I already wrote it down, so you might as well. The magic number is. What is the number? Fifty-two four ten. Five two four ten. And that's for one of those, right? Very good. Okay, we have. Where are you going next? You got nothing for the fire. <coughs> no fire is off for another year or two. Uh, Benji has four, as I recall. Yeah, we, um, what, the other police vehicle in there, or no? Well, I guess we could put a placeholder there. See. You want to do a police or an ACO? No, this one he's got here. Here's my thinking. When we did the three, <coughs> we initially were considering five. We did five, we got zero. 
We did three, we got three. Right. I we know. did two, we got one, and we did one, we got zero. Right. Before so, that, it was zero, 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 zero for four years, agreed. five years. Agreed. Agreed. But we're not any further ahead than where we did the three because it's been a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. And I think it should be two ballot items, two, two worn items, to, to, to just in case something doesn't happen so you don't tank the whole thing but oh, it's going to be two or well we right. think it's going to be right. two items. but I think to keep up with things we really need to do two and and yeah. and, and the dog officer is a separate issue I, I really think that if you not do that second one then we're really we're gonna we're gonna be behind the eight ball again because you're gonna think you're gonna say the same thing next year and then after that he's got one a year <coughs> but that's presuming we get caught up to begin with I don't disagree with you but I'm worried about the out of the possible what well, that's why they do the two warren article no <coughs> even the two warrants they're like oh my god no, no. Yeah. Or you said, could you could have some uh, voting for one and and yeah, not the other know. and vice versa. <laughs> yep. You know, but um, but I don't think we're doing ourselves any favors by not considering the second one. Well, I guess if the selectmen don't want to go forward with that, well, that's out of our hands. But they can knock one off. But right. I think that the factor of changing the vehicles. Is is going to be a there's a little flinch factor. It's going to be a I'm not saying it's a wall, but it's going to be a step yep. that we're going to have to overcome. Uh, so I think that factors into that a little bit. That that's why I was saying I I think it's really important that we get one because if we don't get one, we're in real trouble <coughs> again. We're probably back where we were when we spent all that money on maintenance. Right. When we could have bought the three cars. Right. But. You know, no more, but though. once the voters vote, that's it. And so we're still, it's not like you and I in our regular oh, house budget that. where if the car loses an engine or something, we can say, hey, let's go buy another one. <laughs> the town can't do that. And so we have to, you know, so those are the things to consider. Well, this is why we have these discussions. I mean, I think you ought to put two police vehicles up there. Oh, wait a minute, Jan, do you have an opinion? I, yeah, I do. I agree. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm not opposed to two. I'm just worried about putting two that's on the same. ballot and getting I, I, zero. I think we really try to need to explain it on the, the swap over um, rationale. Uh, well, the no. second one, oh, you want to do no, two? No, the second one's 44791. You thought you knew it. We thought you knew that. <laughs> oh no! You don't have to start over. You can just now. You ruined it. <laughs> We're gonna pay the price on this one. What is it? Nothing. Forty-four seven ninety-one. How about if we just do forty-four eight? Yeah. And how about if I can I do fifty-two four instead of ten dollars? We had a fight over ten dollars last night. <laughs> <laughs> Those are usually where the fights happen. <laughs> Don't you even go there. <laughs> so how long that took? You did. It's still a PPV, but yes, you right. downsize it. It's a $600 it. difference, and the, yeah, there was. And the height? The height's the same as, the, okay. so it's two inches lower than the SSV, but we didn't know to tow 8,400. <laughs> Dig into Benji's stuff. You want to do parks and rec first? Yes. That's the other elephant in the room. Yes. Was it 19? Uh, I'm looking. That was for the study? 19, yes. yes. Okay. And 2020. 
Uh, 20, well, they put tw they put 2019, but they meant 2020. Plus $19? Yes, 19. Mm -hmm. Was that the same study, though, that engineering study? It seemed like yes. the same as last year. And, um... NG. Excuse me. Two twenty. Ten wheels, two twenty. Yeah. And one ton was what eighty. Something? 86.5. There you go. Did the selectmen have anything? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> so you want to leave the ACO issue for the select board? Yes. Well, the plan here solves it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, Two of these, you were going to cycle one out for the ACO. Okay. So this solves the ACO in this right. fashion. Right. Whether it changes or not, that's the next, that's the selectman's choice. But okay. the, that would take the Explorer and give it to the ACO, so that does solve both. How many miles on the Explorer do you? 130. 20 something. How much? 100? No, 130. 130? The, the unit 6. Uh, 123, 308. That was as of uh, September 20th. Oops. Okay. Thank you. The floor is still rolling. <laughs> so I'm hoping it, it would get five more years out of it as an ACO vehicle is my goal. What's the worth of that right now? Do you have a number on that? Well, the question is, would that be sold as a police car? What year is it? Or be sold as a regular car? <laughs> Probably 2013. Um, it's starting to show Wouldn't be worth little much. signs of corrosion around yeah. like the locks. It drives great. I've driven mm -hmm. it. Sheila's got it in Maine currently. That's our risk. Probably five or six thousand bucks. Depends on the rest, how bad the rest is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One car. Sometimes those auction items go crazy money. Yeah. <coughs> On the park study, can we talk about that for a minute? Mm. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of doing a $19,000 park study on, was it Inesom? It's both places. I mean, East it, Road and Inesom. Really, I, I think that we need a good one for East Road because then if we get something that the DPW can then use as a master plan on how they're going to go after that site, how they're going to work it, then it would help everybody. It wouldn't, it's, that, that study really benefits the DPW, the Conservation Commission, and Parks. It, it's not just, unfortunately, it looks like Parks is paying for it, but I think it's really a multi-use study that we could get a lot more bang for a buck out of than spending a nickel on Ineson. Well, if you go back to Ineson, we hauled in everything to get what we got at Ineson, and I think it's a huge fill to go to the next phase anyway, because we looked at that for the safety complex, I think, or the school looked the school, at it as yeah. well. School, yeah. It was a ton of fill. That's a challenge just to get a flat piece of land. Exactly. I mean, you're either going to do a huge cut, mm -hmm. and you're going to have a cut in the bank, mm -hmm. and it's, it's just... East well, I guess the question is, is yeah. Take the material out. yeah, if you if you remove the Edison, I'm not sure that drives the price that much. No, it doesn't change. I don't think it changes it. I don't think it changes. But it. I'm just well, if we left it the same, and because I don't really think when they start scratching around for their engineering work, they got to get the topography. That's right off the database, you know. So. I mean, I think that the long-term benefit is the laying, laying the groundwork for Benji's mm -hmm. 
construction, you know, because that could be. You know, we definitely we definitely need something for, for that. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not something you can just wing. But I guess the question is, you want to keep the money the same and not do Ineson? Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure I understood. I, I have some comments to make on Go ahead. that. Um, <clears throat> so I agree with what Bruce said about Ineson Field, and I agree the, about being prepared for the East Road property, but I'm against us spending money for that purpose because um, the few years that I've been on the committee, every time Parks and Rec has come in with no plan and thrown a number at us. And so... Um, well, they do have a plan, but they may not have a strategy. Well, but it, yes. And so um, the piece of paper that they gave us that showed the number of uh, young folks signed up for... Um, for uh, events, so for spring, under their list for spring between lacrosse and baseball, softball, there's 390 registered. So 390, I figured, I don't know much about lacrosse, but baseball, softball teams, you're probably going to have a minimum of 15 children per team. So. Divide that by 15 equals 26. Divide that by three fields is a little under nine. So we really, we need the fields for nine practices a week, if they do one practice a week. I don't know how many they do. And then for games, you're going to put two teams on the field, so that's 30. So you really need the fields about five times a week. What do you get football on there? It, they this is yeah, what they gave us and then for um, soccer in the fall they had 280 registered players <clears throat> yeah, football they're gonna use it every night of the week during the whole month of August right. that's every not the night. information that they gave you us. don't have the football numbers there I don't think yeah. it's under <laughs> football field hockey and cheering they have 250 to 280 registered players on the piece of paper yeah, that they that, gave us that, 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 Cheerleading and cheerleading, field hockey, football, they have 250 to 200 registered players. Yeah, and they, they, they practice every single <clears throat> weekday during the month of August. Right. So that's All I have is what's in front of me. Okay. So, yeah. so I'm talking about the plan and presenting the need. I asked last year, we got pretty much the same plan last year, and I asked the same questions I did last year and got no answers about you know utilizing school fields about having somebody walk the property at at uh Ineson field knowing that i, I don't be very very expensive to do something there and so uh last year the vote was uh for nineteen thousand dollars as well f as said for uh, the purpose of having an architectural engineering survey done on the property on quaker street Ineson Field and East Ro Road, former Alma Schmidt property for future. So it's the same thing they're asking for this year. And it was no 1,096 votes and yes, 407. And so from the present presentation that we had this time, I'm seeing the exact same thing. And, and the, even uh, no, the I year agree. before... That's why I'm trying to change the narrative. And, the year before yeah, that, the taxpayers voted even more overwhelmingly <coughs> against the project that they were looking for. Which I think was Chase Park. It was uh, Bolton Field. Yeah. Oh, so in work. 2018, uh, they asked for $60,000 for two pavilions, and that vote was 804 no to 177 yes. So that was even a higher percentage of no. And I'm not, I'm not, all, all, kind of like I talked to before about, you know, I'm, I'm using the experience that we did in the highway garage, getting that passed, and I'm seeing the parks and rec uh, kind of proceed like the old request, just keep bringing it in. And so as presented, I, I can't support it. I think they need to go back to the drawing board and get more information and put together a good plan. I think the problem with Parks and Rex is, and I'm not demeaning anybody on there, they're all well intended and they're all volunteers, but 
So are we. Yeah, I know. But you make the big bucks. I do solo, so we can all do that. <laughs> so the question here is. Uh, okay. Want to get started on that? No. So the question is, they aren't, here's the goofy part. Is, is Benji digging over on E Street every day? I don't know. Is he on the site hauling material day. off? Not every day. The th answer is no, right? Not every day, no. But I'm saying, is he doing an excavation over there for gravel? Something? He has, he's used the material, yes. Mm. Yeah, so that's where the source of town material is? It's okay. So. And he may set up the screener and process screen stuff. Right. So I'm trying to say that's actively being mined for material today, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, some days. Some days. So. <laughs> where you dig might be kind of important. Exactly. So. Uh, because you could be digging a big hole and then have to spend more money in the future to fill it in. Exactly. It, it could be, you know, I, I'm just saying, I've I never been a fan of Ineson because we looked at that when we went on the site, the elementary school. It was just too hard to get a flat spot. And so that's going to be a challenge for anything that's built there. That's, that's large in size. As, as far as East Street go, you know, we're, we're not just from a standpoint of strategy of where we're going to go with that. That's, that's NG is lacking in any direction. That's the narrative we need to use. Is it, it's a, right. for a master plan for that. Right. But so, I, I, I'll go back. I'll back up one more step in that. Before we develop a plan, is there an actual need? And, and I don't. They didn't. In my opinion, there's a need because Benji's mining in there, and I'm, he's, I'm and he's talking he's, about does Parks and Rec need more? Well, fields? there's the, there's the problem. That's what I said. So, Three different. Organizations are going to benefit from this, but Parks and Rec are the only one that's coming up and saying, "Let's do something about it." So that's your, rec your reclamation plan ends up being fields. Right. right. So it's really a multi-department request, just under Parks' name. It can be the best thing in the world, but if we don't have a plan on how we're going to proceed and how much it's going to cost, I'm not in favor of spending well, any you, money. You on won't it. have any of that until you come up with a master plan. This is a this is a little more a t tougher nut to crack than, than I think it's important to have the plan. Unfortunately, the sale of the plan is somewhat lacking. Uh, doesn't mean that there isn't a need there. And I'm not sure if the Parks and Rec has the ability to do a full court press for selling this as well as they could. But I would agree with Bruce as an underlying need because we're, we're mining gravel every day over there. We could limit the ability in the future. I think that's, that's, the, that's really the issue in my board. I mean, I'm willing to support it. Yeah, I, we could take on this and out. I just don't think that's practical. Yeah, I can't. We walked the thing 25 years ago. We did whatever it was. We did the uh, elementary school. It was, it's, it's a goat. It's like for a billy goat, you know, it's, it's all hills, one big hill. And there's water issues on it too, so. I'm willing to go forwards with a 19. Was the hundred. estimate broke down for both fields? No, no there was no. 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 It, was no. it would be yeah. almost impossible at this point. Because that estimate's a year old too, it's 2018, September. Well, if you only do, I know, so I know if you so. only do East Street. No, I just didn't know if it was broken down for East Street and what we got is two pieces. Right, it's from Geo Insight. Yes. I just didn't know if it was a breakdown of this much for the East Street and this much for. Oh, I hell it is. I do remember um, one selectman's meeting, <laughs> or maybe a couple of them, I think, that m members of. Uh, it was whack. I think that was here. There were there was a whole group and a lot of parents here because <coughs> there wasn't enough room for all the teams to be doing things at the at the. I mean, you have appropriate times. You have certain times, and in the fall, it's a shorter period of time. There's no, and I think one of the issues, and it's it's on here, is field hockey. It says unable to offer field space. <coughs> um, All I'm using is the numbers that they gave us. I understand. And no, and I'm not. Add. I'm not disputing <coughs> okay. your numbers. So, I just. So. I, I do I, remember an awful lot of people coming. I mean, the rooms was filled that night. That 
make that happen. And so, I mean, there seems to be some type of a need. And if it's going to coincide with, you know, Benji getting his... Uh, Does that have the school schedule on it? Nope. Yeah, and that was one of my points, <coughs> is that so I don't schools, know the that what? they don't have enough fields. Doesn't have the school schedule on that. We had the conversation. I asked questions about utilizing the school fields, and we didn't get any answers on that. We got what my well. Well, my see, impression you have two different was, teams, though, don't you? you? You have WAC teams, and you have the school teams. But field usage, if if schools traveling away, <coughs> the field yeah. would be available. Right. And that what he's saying is, we didn't look at the middle school has a girls and boys soccer the middle school has a baseball softball team right but um, if you took the schedules and put yeah. them like this with some thought with some overlay you could you're away at a game that field could be used you know what i mean it just takes a scheduling to do mm -hmm. that but you don't have you're talking four teams but i don't know how many kids are on it it appears we're in different there's multiple camps here and exactly. we're not adding a lot of value by continuing to discuss it the question is, who are willing to go forward to the 19? I'm willing to do it. Yeah. I'm opposed. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's why we're having this conversation. Last year, I was not in favor of it because we didn't have a plan, but I went along with it to put it on the ballot, and the, and the voters spoke. And so, especially when we get into this exercise and we look at what we spent last year versus what we're looking for this year, I think that's a place where these kind of things are important and even if you say it's important for East Road I agree with that but we don't have a plan we don't have a price we don't know what the okay. exact scope we took a of vote. is I, I mean we can keep this up for yeah. three more hours and I don't think anybody's going to change the position no that's okay that's all I get to I, say. I'd like to move on okay. if that's okay all righty um, anything else to discuss uh, let's go down Benji's Road reconstruction, he bumped them from 480 up to 500. We hope the 500 doesn't cause a flinch factor. And well, and that's mostly covered by a bump in the state. A little bit of a bump. Yeah. A little bit of a bump, but he also, whatever the cost of crushing gravel over the last umpteen years, that's how he gets his crushing, you know. The glass crushing always comes out of that. And also the culverts, guardrails, mm -hmm. these type of stuff. So. I'm okay with it, you know, as far as kind of keeping up with the inflation. There isn't a lot of inflation, but over the last, what's it been, four or five years, we've been doing, uh, four years anyway, to an authority. Bridge, that's the fourth year, did I get it right? Mm -hmm. So we got 420 sort of in the bank after this, and Benji will start his engineering with the, uh, with the state. Come up with yeah, a plan. You just have to watch the state because the states run into trouble with no money. Right. Which consequently is put anybody ahead of you back. Right. So. But part of the deal to get the state to pay attention to you is to have the money. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, and it doesn't guarantee that the 420 is adequate to cover the 20 percent. Right. Because. But we're earning interest. Until they do the, well, true, but until they do the engineering study and see what the latest. EPA laws are. We may be okay because um, certain things have been turned back as far as reporting. So. It'll get us close anyway. Pardon? It'll get us close anyway. Mm -hmm. It was as close as we could. Right. Well, that was the best information we had back in uh, today, probably 2015. Uh, Ten Wheeler, we're effectively down six vehicles in the rotation. Um, we got rid of one last night. Pardon? We got rid of one last night. That Which was the $10. A what? You have to watch it. Oh. <laughs> we had two bids, $3,000, $3,010. dollars $3, we made a motion to accept that bid, and there wasn't a second. Then 3000 for we ended up taking 3000 so we took $10 less. <laughs> okay. We talked to him for, I don't know how long. Chris was there. <laughs> $10. Okay. Sorry. The and one time for eighty six five. Yeah, and that's the one which he does. It's a little more than a one time, but right. It's the I think it's a forty five hundred series or fifty five hundred. And that was fully outfitted, just no wing. Yeah, no wing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the service trucks, basically for roads. 
Well, they do the parking lot here. Yeah, pick, yeah. you know, coal patch, yeah. hanging signs, whatever else. It does the town hall, the parking lot here. It does the smaller areas. And there's some thought behind maybe letting it do intersections because the intersections are honestly the worst when you're trying to get a big truck out with a wing and yeah. people aren't impatient. People are so impatient today, they don't want to wait. The thing's so if about... You, if you try to do an intersection, they either get behind you. We've watched it. Thinking you're going to go plow and then move back. They're going to go around you, so they're not thinking you're going to back up. It's just crazy. Are we done? We're done. Mm -hmm. We're done. We're not happy, but we're done. <laughs> hey, when you, uh, when is when nobody's happy? Right. Exactly. Everybody's okay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do I have a vote to go forwards with this? Our motion. I'll make that somebody. motion. Present this to the select Second. Board. Second. Thank you. Uh, are we done with discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Four zero. Uh, I think we're done, except for minutes. Are we correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you see those Forward. Make a motion we accept them as written. Thank you. I'll second. Thank you. Any discussion? Being none. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Four zero. Um, anything else? Come. Thank you, guys. Motion to adjourn. Yeah, thank you very much. Another year. Uh, it's a bit of a grind. <laughs> All those in favor of motion to adjourn? Aye. Aye. Four zero.